against uh, Crossley. Teddy. Not bother with formalities, I take it. Go ahead. I just had you working on a research project with your friend, Jake Westwood. A tragedy. Yeah. I've never seen a body quite like that before. I want to know why you were found near it. I see what you're implying, Inspector. But Jake and I didn't just work together. We were best friends for many years. Okay, okay. ready to power up now. Okay. I need thresholds one, two, and three on one, in that two, order. And three. One, two, do with me. One, three. There we go. Three. Perfect. Yeah, right. Okay, threshold one, on. good. Threshold two, on, good. Threshold three, on, good. Okay. I right. think you should slide this one forward. No. You're not thinking big enough, Eddie. Okay, the mainframe's on. That's pretty big. Transfer and nobody's figured it out. Yet. <laughs> Look. It's my bite mark. Impossible. I still haven't recalibrated the coordinates on the machine. Eddie, you said it was only going to take a couple hours. Correct, but I still can't allow it. Not when I'm this close. So, what exactly do you see a machine being used for? Well, we're considering the benefits of using it for humanitarian purposes, as in transporting care packages and similar things. But you told us that not only is the machine broken, but Eddie is the only person who can fix it, so where is he? I don't know. He's probably up to something. You know, as scientists, we're very busy creatures. Eddie! Are you crazy? <clears throat> that is not how the machine was meant to be used. Are you trying to kill Where yourself? Was the machine last night. You took it to that demonstration, didn't you? Yes. I, I shouldn't have. I should have left it here. You, you make me seem like a right laughing stock out there, Ed. Are, are you capable of anything? So he snapped his own neck, with his own hands. Oh, please, got any more tall tales to tell me? Plenty. <laughs> <laughs> 